Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. I'm JT and in this video we're talking about a really awesome filter from Haida and this is the Black Mist filter and a variable ND. Let's hop right into it. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you to Haida for sending me this filter. I finally had the opportunity to test it out. I absolutely love playing with it. And this review once again took me a very long time because last year I got really sick with the thing and got sick for a while, couldn't make videos for a while. But finally I could put this filter to the test and I had a lot of fun with it, taking it down to Tampa, Florida, playing with some cityscapes and taking some really cool photos with this filter. So I'm gonna show you guys some video, some photo with and without the filter, and we'll see what you guys think and see what you prefer. But let's hop into this review. Now, this filter is really cool comes in a nice little box like this. Inside the box, we have a case. Let's go ahead and check that out. So here is the nice little case that they provide for you. Inside we have our ProMist VND filter. And this is pretty darn cool. So again, it is a ProMist filter, so you get that nice, subtle kind of misty, smooth, diffused kind of glowy, hazy, foggy look to your photos, and that vintage look, some nice blooming and some nice flaring around lights, especially like lamp posts, neon signs, things like that. And you're also gonna get a variable neutral density filter in here where you can just twist this and it will darken or brighten your exposure. So I'm gonna hold this in front of a neon sign over here and see if I twist it, brightens that sign up in the background and if I twist it the other way, I can darken it up a couple stops and you can see it changes that exposure. I'll actually go ahead and put this in front of my lens. You can see we're dark and then we're light. And if I twist this, you can see get lighter and we get darker. So again, just a quick twist and you have an awesome variable neutral density filter. Great for long exposures, great for time lapse, great for making those clouds streak in a nice long exposure. You can do that during the day. You can smooth out a nice lake, ocean, a river. I did that down in Tampa, really smoothed out the bay in Tampa, got a great skyline, added some really cool like blooming and glowing effects to the skyline and all the lights and street lights and the boats going through the river. So this filter, is really awesome for having that two-in-one, the Pro Mist, which again gives you that kind of glowy, foggy, soft look, and that variable neutral density filter that allows you to kind of go in there, tweak your exposure, get it just right, and be able to have all those options for longer shutter speeds, especially during the day. I can take a long exposure, maybe a second long, with a nice VND, and again, add that glowy look to it. So now, I don't have to stack two filters and have all these filters in front of my camera, have my camera struggling with autofocus, just have one filter and two tasks. So again, let's open this up a little bit, let some light in. You can kind of see the scene I have right here. You can see it gets a little bit glowy. Those neon signs over here start to glow a little bit more. And then without the filter, and with the filter. So let's take a look at some photo and some video examples with and without this really cool Haida variable neutral density and ProMist filter. So those are some examples that I've shot with this filter. I really enjoy it. Thank you again to Haida for sending this to me. It seems like a really great high quality filter and I really enjoy using it. I would say the only 
con, and this is with any sort of filter, is once you put some sort of a pro mist or a diffuser, kind of glowy filter in front of your lens, that's in your image forever and you can't necessarily take it off. So you have the option as a photographer, you can either add that glow in post or you can add that glow with a filter. And if you do decide to add that glow with a filter, you can't take that off of your footage or off of your photos. So you kind of have to have the right mindset going into a photo shoot that, yes, I want to use this filter and I want a very specific look. And I use that kind of glowy, diffused, soft look all the time. So I'm really enjoying using this filter all the time. So be sure to give me a follow on Instagram at Run and Gun Photo. I'm gonna start doing a lot of cool neon and long exposure time lapse and cityscapes with this really cool filter. And I highly recommend you guys pick one up. Check out the link down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw some of the fun things I got to make with this. Again, highly recommend you guys get one of these. It's a lot of fun. It's gonna save you a lot of hassle of stacking filters. And until next time, get out and go shoot.